Last semester, my teacher's assistant came up with a very interesting math problem that comes in the form of a game. The rules of the game are actually quite simple. Two players take turns selecting squares from a predetermined grid size. So, for example, let's say that we choose to have a grid that is 4 by 6. And suppose that player 1 chooses to remove this square right here. Now, the rules of the game go as follows. Whenever a square is chosen, all squares that are to the right and above the square that was chosen are removed. So in this case, by choosing this square, all of these squares in this upper right corner are removed because they are all to the right and all above of the square that is chosen. Player two could then choose to remove this square, which would then remove all of these squares and would also have removed all of these squares as well had they not already been removed from the game. From here, play continues in this way with both players just selecting squares and then removing everything to the right and above until eventually we find out that there is only one square remaining. And upon there only being one square remaining, whoever's player's turn it is, who picks that final square, is the loser. So in this case, player two is the one who has to put an X in the final square, which means that player two loses and player one wins. It turns out that there is a very clever proof to show that if you have a rectangular grid, player one should always win if they know what they are doing. However, actually coming up with what the winning move actually looks like is a very computationally intensive process, and it's actually an active area of research. And in case you're wondering, this game is called Chomp, so if you want to look up like some results about it, you could totally find it at this name.